so all of you are interested in digital adder circuit so let's start the video by watching the video till its end you will be able to answer five different questions number one what is a half adder you can write the truth table and draw its circuit number two what is a full adder write the truth table and draw its circuit number three you can construct a full adder by using two half adders number four what is a ripple carry adder circuit and number five that is a surprise to you it will give you a hint how to solve an adder problem so let's start the video if you are a newcomer to this channel please subscribe the channel just to ensure that every time whenever i post a new video you will get it as fast as possible a half adder is a combinational circuit which can add two bits at a time say a and b so a and b are two digital binary numbers that can be added by using a half adder now this is the truth table where a and b are two binary numbers s is the sum output and c is the carry output so we can write here as this is our input side and this is the output side now the truth table begins as when a and b both of them are zero so zero plus zero will be zero carry also zero zero with one when we add zero with one it will give some one but carry zero when zero is added with one that is one and zero one plus zero that is sum will be one and carry zero but when both of a and b are one then the sum will be one zero that is one plus one equals to one zero so the sum will be zero and the carry will be one now let us write the output expression of sum and carry for sum output for sum output we only consider the states when sum is equals to 1 that is it can be written as a bar b or a b bar so sum expression is a bar b or a b bar so that is our sum output a bar b or a b bar now let's come to the carry output now we can find here that only this very state when a and b both of them are equals to 1 then only carry occurs so the expression will be carry c equals to a and b so these are the output expressions for an half adder one is the sum output and the other is carry output now let's draw the circuit of this half adder i am using only nand gates to draw the half adder circuit so this is our inputs a and b and this is our sum output you can see over here that this this is nothing but this is nothing but an xor gate an expression of an xor gate so i have drawn only an xor gate by using nand gates and now come to the carry output that is a and b now this this point at this point we get a b bar so if we apply another nand gate then only we can get carry c equals to a b that is a b bar whole bar and it becomes a b so this is the entire circuit of half adder by using only nand gates now you can draw this circuit by using an xor gate and an and gate and it will be look like this so these are a and b inputs just draw an xor gate to get the sum output and then draw an and gate just to get the carry output so this is the simplest circuit 
of a half adder by using an XOR gate and an AND gate. So this is all about half adder. Now in the half adder circuit, what you have seen that you can add only two binary numbers at once. But if a carry is generated from the previous state appears here and you have to add three bits at a time that is a b and a carry from the previous state now half adder can't do this so that's why we are considering that full adder circuit so in a full adder circuit we can add three bits at a time a n b n and a carry from the previous state so this is c n minus 1 that is the carry from the previous state again the sum will be s n and the carry for the next state to occur that is c n now these three are our inputs and these two obviously are outputs now what will be the truth table so when a n 0 b n 0 and there is no carry then sum will be 0 carry out will be 0 when 0 0 but carry occurs then sum must be 1 but carry out 0 now when 0 0 0 1 0 that is a n 0 b n 1 but no carry occurs then also sum 1 carry out 0 0 1 but a carry occurs 1 plus 1 again becomes 1 0 so that means sum output 0 carry output 1 now 1 0 no carry that means sum output 1 carry 0 1 0 but carry occurs then again the output will be 1 0 that is sum 0 carry out 1 1 1 no carry so that means 0 1 and 1 1 carry occurs that means 1 1 so this is the truth table for a full adder circuit now again let's come to the output expressions how we can find the output expressions for a full adder here two outputs are here so that is sum output sn what we can write about sum output again considering only the high states that is whenever the sum output becomes 1 you only write the combinations of the inputs that is for this to happen it will a n bar b n bar c n minus 1 so i am writing a n bar b n bar c n minus 1 or the second term that is a n bar b n c n minus 1 bar a n bar b n c n minus 1 bar or the third one happens appears here that is a n b n bar c n minus 1 bar so a n b n bar c n minus 1 bar and the last that is here a n b n c n minus 1 so this is our a n b n c n minus 1 now the simplified form will be by considering c n minus 1 from the first and the last term we get a n bar b n bar or a n b n that is considering the first and the fourth term and then from the second and third term i am considering c n minus 1 bar as common and we will get a n bar b n or a n b n bar as you can see that the first term within the parenthesis or within the bracket it is actually the output expression of the x nor gate so i can write it as a n exclusive b n whole bar that is the output expression for an x nor gate with c n minus 1 or the term within the bracket in the second it appears at a n exclusive b n and c n minus 1 bar so the last step what we can write it as a n exclusive b n and that exclusive c n minus 1 
so this is the final output expression that is the sum output expression for a full adder circuit hope you all can understand it now let's move to the carry out expression so for cn here also we can get four combinations in which cn is one so for the first combination here we can write n bar bn cn minus 1 so that is n bar bn cn minus 1 then the second term that is n bn bar cn minus 1 n bn bar cn minus 1 then the third term that is n bn cn minus 1 bar n bn cn minus 1 bar and the last one is our a n b n c n minus 1 ok you got my point so next I have to simplify this expression so what we can uh, get that is take common c n minus 1 from the first and the second term c n minus 1 from the first and the second term and we will get a n exclusive b n that is n bar bn or n bn bar and you all know that it is the expression for a n exclusive bn now that from the third and fourth term you can see that n bn is common to both the third and fourth terms and whenever we are taking n bn as common we will left with cn minus 1 bar or cn minus 1 that will make 1 so i am writing only a n bn so this is the final carry out expression for a full adder now as we are going to draw the circuit by using nand gates again so we have to simplify this expression a little bit okay so carry out expression is our cn minus 1 a n exclusive bn or a n bn now just by applying De Morgan's theorem we can convert this or into and so it will be cn minus 1 a n exclusive bn whole bar and a n bn bar and the above a bar so now this expression looks like a NAND expression or there an AND term appears. So now let us move to the circuit. So now I am drawing the circuit of the sum expression and you have already seen that the sum expression is nothing but a n exclusive b n exclusive c n minus 1 so i have to make two xor combinations one with a n exclusive b n and the other with the output of a n exclusive b n this is the a n exclusive b n output this is and then I am again making an XOR combination XOR circuit with CN minus 1 and this is the sum expression. So we have 8 NAND gates, we have used 8 NAND gates to construct the sum expression that is AN exclusive, BN exclusive, CN minus 1. Now let us move to the carry output. Now look carefully, all of you, please look carefully that a n b n bar, I have to draw, I have to make a n b n bar and this is the a n b n bar. So this is my a n b n bar output. Now a n exclusive b n c n minus 1 with an and. So this is a n exclusive b n and this is c n minus 1. So this output is actually a n exclusive b n and c n minus 1 nand so this is a n exclusive b n and c n minus 1 nand and this is our a n exclusive a n b n bar 
so just by connecting these two inputs to a NAND gate we can get the carry output that is CN minus 1 AN exclusive BN whole bar and AN BN bar bar and then the whole bar so by taking 9 NAND gates we have already use 8 NAND gates for the sum expression and only a one additional NAND gate will give you the carry output. So this is the entire circuit for a full adder by using only NAND gates. Now let's move to our third question that is construct a full adder by using half adders. Already I have written the sum output and the carry output for both the half adders and full adders. Look at here, that is the sum of full adder, that is what we have get that AN exclusive BN exclusive CN minus 1. This is the expression for the sum half adder, that is AN exclusive BN. And then carry full adder, it was AN exclusive BN and CN minus 1 or AN BN. And this is the carry half adder expression, that is only AN BN. So, what we can write as sum full adder, it can be written as an exclusive bn means some half adder exclusive cn minus 1 so we actually are writing the full adder expression by using the half adder expressions and the carry full adder it can be written as an exclusive bn means some full adder and cn minus 1 or an bn means carry half adder sorry it will be some half adder it is actually some half adder and cn minus 1 or carry half adder so now jump to the circuit so this is our half adder block we already have known that how to draw a half adder so this is the half adder block in which these two are inputs let it be an and bn so the sum output is actually an exclusive bn that is the half adder sum and the carry cn it is an bn now this is our second half adder block so the sum of full adder is actually sum of half adder exclusive cn minus 1 so if this is the sum of the half adder and if this is our cn minus 1 so this half adder second half adder block it will give the sum sn equals to an exclusive bn exclusive cn minus 1 and that is nothing but the sum of a full adder now let us consider the carry of the full adder expression and it is some half adder and carry cn minus 1. So actually this carry from the second half adder block it will generate an exclusive bn and cn minus 1 that is an exclusive bn and cn minus 1 that is this term it will generate this from the cn and then I have to draw only an OR gate for this carry half adder and this carry half adder is this term. So I can just draw this that is an OR gate in which AN BN has come from the half adder first half adder block that is the carry out and the, from the second half adder block which actually gives us an exclusive bn and cn minus 1 so this term this term is odd by an bn and this will give us the carry full adder so this is the carry full adder and this is the sum full adder you can write it as sum full adder so this is the circuit you can draw a full adder circuit using half adders and an OR gate obviously an OR gate is needed so this is the circuit for a full adder using half adder 
that's our third question got it so we have already completed three questions now we are getting towards the fourth one that is the ripple carry adder circuit actually it is also known as a multi-bit adder circuit so this is our multi-bit adder multi-bit adder or it is our ripple carry adder ripple carry adder multi-bit adder or it is a parallel adder what do you mean by a parallel adder that say we have to add two four bit numbers we have to add two four bit numbers now this is all our full adder blocks so while we are adding while we are adding two four bit numbers we have to take four full adder circuits now you can take this as well as it you can take it as a half adder actually because because in the least significant bit position no carry appears so if you are using that full adder you have to ground the carry in so that carry in should be grounded or you can use a half adder also now this is our say these two inputs are our a0 b0 this is our a1 b1 these inputs are a2 b2 and this is a3 b3 now from the first full adder block a sum appears that is we can write it as s0 that is the sum at the least big uh, least significant bit position this is our carry out this is the sum output for the first bit or the full adder one that is s1 this is carry one c1 this is s2 this is the carry from the third full adder block c2 and this is s3 and the final carry will appear from there that is our c3 so the answer of the sum will be this that is c3 s3 s2 s1 s0 now just look this circuit carefully if a carry from fa0 appears in a delay at a delay so then the sum output that is s1 will also delays that is, that means that c1 also delays and thereafter all the sum outputs and the carry outputs will be delayed let us consider that this full adder has a propagation delay of t seconds this is the propagation delay of every full adder blocks so by giving this input at once you cannot derive that the result at once because these propagation delays will be summed will be sum up to give you the final result so if four full adder blocks are used then the propagation delay will be 4t that is t plus t plus t plus t now if you are considering a circuit by using n number of par parallel adders or n number of full adders you are actually you are actually delivering n times of the propagation delay or this is actually the disadvantage of any parallel adder circuit okay so this is the ripple carry adder why we are uh, taking the term ripple carry adder because the carry here propagates propagates as a ripple which is generated in water so actually carry here propagates within the full adder by one by one and that means it becomes a ripple so the circuit is known as either a multi-bit adder or a multi-bit parallel adder as well as a ripple carry adder okay now as i have promised that this is the tip question or the problem considering this adder circuit let's have a look
टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू जेनरेट कैरी आउट टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू जेनरेट कैरी आउट फ्रॉम ए वन बीट फुल एडर इज थर्टी नैनो सेकेंड एंड टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू जेनरेट ए सम बीट इज फोर्टी नैनो सेकेंड नाउ दिस इज द प्रोपागेशन डिले टाइम एज वट आई हैव आर्लियर मैंशन नाउ द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द टोटल डिले for the final sum to be generated or to appear when eight one bit adders are used so in the worst possible case the zero bit generates the first carry then the second bit then the third then the fourth then the fifth and then the last bit so actually for carry to appears at the last bit position that is for c7 the time required is 30 into 7 that is 210 nanoseconds so this is the delay this is the delay what i have talking about so this is the delay for the carry bit to appear at the most significant bit position and after it appears at the most significant bit position then the sum bit will appear and it will appear also with a propagation delay of 40 nanoseconds so the total time required that is the maximum time required to generate the final answer is 210 nanoseconds with that 40 nanoseconds and that becomes 250 nanoseconds so this is the final delay time when the final result appears it should be noted by you that adder circuits can also be constructed by using sequential circuit devices but here actually what we are talking about we are talking about adder circuit by using only combinational circuits i think that this will find you a better understanding of the topic So if you find this tutorial helpful to you please subscribe electronics with expert